your mother! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 male versus female fights in film. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the best battles of the sexes in cinema. We're talking about one-on-one -on -one fights between humans. This thus excludes group fights or battles between machines. What's your favourite male versus female movie fight? Sound off in the comments. Number 20. Keyboard Fight. Everything, everywhere, all at once. All of the fight scenes in this movie are absolutely amazing. They're acrobatic, goofy and just a lot of fun. This fight is no exception. Actually, this one is probably the funniest out of them all. In order to reach Jobu Tupaki, Evelyn must first face her army of verse jumpers one by one. It's really interesting to see Evelyn's fighting style and technique change as she jumps through different universes and develops new skills while fighting this office guy. However, while all of the martial arts are super awesome, the best part is when they both lose their powers and resort to a slap fight. What happened? I think they lost their stupid powers. Number 19, Barbara Rose versus Oliver Rose, The War of the Roses. The word war is in the title of the movie. It would be a major disappointment if there was anything less than an epic fight scene between this couple. You owe me, Barbara. You've gotten a hell of a lot more out of knowing me than I've got out of knowing you. I'm not even gonna ask you what that means. We all know that divorce settlements can be pretty brutal, but this one takes that concept literally. Once a loving couple, Barbara and Oliver begin to hate each other. As they argue over their money and assets, their animosity grows, and the terrible things they do to each other escalates, resulting in this crazy fight to the death. Neither pulls any punches. They leave it all out there. Barbara, Barbara I'm sorry. Are you all right? You okay? You okay? Ah! Number 18, Colossus versus Angel Dust, Deadpool. Many of the fight scenes on this list consist of lots of elaborate martial arts or cool acrobatic stunts, but this one is just two mutants wailing on each other. Sometimes simple really is better. You'd think a guy named Colossus would always be the toughest guy in the room, but he has met his match with Angel Dust. He walks into the fight so confidently, and Angel Dust nails him with a wallop that sends him flying. I prefer not to hit a woman, so please play. Not so cocky now, huh, Colossus? In perfect Deadpool fashion, this fight is just as comical as it is badass. It pokes fun at several fight scene tropes, including the infamous hero landing. Woo! Superhero landing! Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Totally impractical. Number 17, John McClane versus Mai Lin. Live free or die hard. Speaking of those fight scenes with elaborate martial arts and acrobatic moves, this one is pretty awesome. Fast as you can. With Maggie Q on the payroll, we expect nothing less. Mai completely wipes the floor with McClane and does so effortlessly. In the previous Die Hard movies, most of John McClane's fights were really brutal but simple. He was just a guy trying to survive a bad situation and take down some terrorists along the way. But this movie brings it to a whole other level. McClane has always been an old school kind of guy, so it's really cool to see his brawling kind of fighting style juxtaposed with Mai's mixed martial arts style. <laughs> Number 16, Kano versus Sonya Blade, Mortal Kombat. The fight between these two in the original movie was pretty badass, not to mention satisfying to see Sonya avenge her partner, but the fight in the 2021 remake is just insane. Tell me, Blondie, how does that feel? It is absolutely brutal based on their fighting skills alone, but when you consider the addition of Kano's laser vision Arcana, things are brought to a whole new level of awesome. The fight in the original movie was sort of a Mortal Kombat sanctioned brawl. They could have been in a ring with Sonya jumping off the third rope, but in this one, the two use whatever means necessary to destroy each other. Hey! <laughs> Number 15, Ron Burgundy versus Veronica Corningstone, Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. 
While many of the fights on this list earned their spots based on their brutality, this one is due to its absolute hilarity. By the beard of Zeus. What starts out as an attraction turns into a rivalry that escalates as the movie goes on culminating in this physical altercation. I'm not a baby, I'm a man! I am an anchor man! You are not a man, you are a big fat joke! I'm a man who discovered the wheel and built the Eiffel Tower out of metal and brawn. That's what kind of man I am. It starts with some very odd and specific verbal jabs, but Veronica crosses the line when she tells Ron his hair looks stupid. Clearly, there is no more devastating blow you can dish out to an anchor man. As the two throw each other over furniture and bludgeon the other with office supplies, things only grow more hilarious. We're <laughs> just talking. We're just talking. I hate you. I hate you more. Number 14, John Wick versus Miss Perkins. John Wick. Everyone wants to kill this dude. In fact, this former assassin has a bounty on his head, which draws every one of his former colleagues to him like moths to a flame. All of the fight scenes in this movie are pretty epic, and this one is definitely one of the more interesting ones. Just when Wick thinks he has a moment of peace to recover from some of his injuries from previous battles, Miss Perkins breaks into his room and puts every last ounce of fight she has into earning that reward money. The back and forth between the two is extremely entertaining as they trade the upper hand. We have received a number of grievances from your floor concerning the noise. Number 13, Wolverine vs Lady Deathstrike X2. Wolverine has had some pretty epic fights throughout this franchise. I used to think you were one of a kind, Wolverine. I was wrong. This one is particularly entertaining. We don't mean to sleep on the Wolverine and Mystique fight from the first movie, or should we call that a Wolverine vs Wolverine fight. In any case, that one was pretty sick too. But we all gasped in the theatre when Lady Deathstrike first unleashed those finger claws. And Mystique only had the appearance of Wolverine's powers. Lady Deathstrike, on the other hand, actually has rapid healing and an adamantium skeleton. They are two practically invincible beings fighting to the death. Absolutely epic. <laughs> Number 12, Gary, Eggsy Unwin versus Gazelle, Kingsman, The Secret Service. Spy films usually have some pretty out-of-the-box weapons used by both the heroes and the villains, but they're usually intended to fly under the radar for sneaking purposes. Gazelle laughs in the face of subtlety. It's not exactly easy to hide those razor legs. Though we definitely see the deadliness of those legs throughout the movie, weren't we all just dying to see her really let those things loose in the final fight? With nothing but his wits and a very special pair of shoes, Eggsy is forced to be resourceful to use whatever he can around the room to fight Gazelle. But she doesn't just rely on her weapons either. Her fighting style is very skilled and entertaining to watch. Number 11, Zoro and Elena sword fight. The Mask of Zoro. Good morning, senorita. It might be easy to write this scene off as just some cheeky, steamy fight scene to build sexual tension. It definitely is all those things. But in between the flirting and the tearing of clothes, the fight is also very skillful. The sword fighting itself is really fun, and all the witty banter really adds to the experience. It's especially fun to see Elena hold her own against Zoro after how dismissive he is of her. He doesn't think fighting her is worth his time. I don't have the time to give you the proper instruction. <clears throat> I have had the proper instruction since I was four. But she proves him wrong and has style doing it. <laughs> Not bad. Number 10, Shang-Chi vs Xu Xiaoling, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This one is much more than a string of cool action sequences. It also serves as exposition and is just as profound as it is entertaining. And his opponent for tonight, it's 
Macau's own fearsome killer! While trying to warn her that she might be in danger, Shang ends up having to fight his own sister, Xu Xiaoling. Intercutting with flashbacks to Shang and Zhu's past raises the stakes of the battle, as well as gives us insight into the estranged relationship between the two. Naturally, all of the cool martial arts moves are really fun to watch, but it is the emotional element to this one that truly makes it great. Number 9. Morton Schmidt vs Mercedes 22 Jump Street Schmidt and Mercedes spend the entire movie matching wits, or should we say matching stupidity with each other, from the second they meet. 19, so... 19 minutes late to Pinochle, where you're meeting your old friends in the park. It was only a matter of time before the battle escalated into a physical one. We thought Mercedes' verbal assaults were brutal, but her bite is definitely way worse than her bark. <laughs> She slaps Schmidt around through several rooms. Schmidt manages to land some pretty decent shots himself as the two try to figure out if they're having a sexy fight or not. I'm not Mr. and Mrs. Smith. This wasn't a sexy fight. Oh, well, you haven't wanted to kiss me the whole time. I never once wanted to kiss you. They take adding insult to injury very literally. The whole thing is absolutely hilarious and hands down one of the best parts of the movie. Number 8. Hawkeye vs Black Widow – Avengers Endgame In the first Avengers, it's interesting watching these two besties go at it while Hawkeye is being controlled, and in Civil War, it's difficult to watch them on opposite sides. We're still friends, right? It depends on how hard you hit me. But their fight in Endgame is epic and heartbreaking. By this time in the franchise, we've seen on multiple occasions just how close they are and what they mean to each other. So the stakes are so much higher in this one, even before thinking about how they are both fighting to die instead of the other. Great. You win. <laughs> you really don't know which way it's going to go until the very end. But no matter the outcome, it's going to be tragic. Number 7. Batman vs Catwoman – Batman Returns the new Batman with Robert Pattinson also has a pretty sick fight between him and Catwoman, but we're throwing back to the old school movies for this one. Who are you? Who's the man behind the bat? While Zoe Kravitz's take on the character was kind of dark and mysterious, Michelle Pfeiffer's version is much more playful and twisted. She treats Batman like her plaything. We praise many of the entries on this list for not using the mixed gendered fight as an excuse to be overly sexual, or for not even bringing masculine and feminine into the question. But in this one, Catwoman uses her femininity to her advantage, and it is just as badass. How could you? I'm a woman. I'm sorry, I. I... <laughs> Number 6 Gen Yu vs. Li Mu Bai Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. For those of us who were growing up in the 90s to 2000s, the whole reason we wanted to see this movie was because of the fight scenes. We've included a lot of fights on this list, with crazy gymnastic moves, cool MMA elements, or interesting weapons, but the fights in this movie straight up bend the laws of physics. How awesome is that scene when they're running across the treetops mid-fight? It's like the perfect combination of a classic martial arts movie and a modern-day action flick. What could be better? <gasps> Number 5. Rey vs Kylo Ren Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens Fans are pretty hot and cold about their feelings about the Star Wars sequel trilogy. We're not done yet. But it cannot be denied that the lightsaber fights are just as awesome as ever. This fight between Rey and Kylo in the forest is arguably the best one in the entire franchise. At the very least, it's the most unique. In the original trilogy, pretty much anyone who picks up a lightsaber is a master at it. In the prequel trilogy, the fights are meticulously choreographed. That's all very cool, but not necessarily super realistic. In this fight, it's very obvious that it's Rey's first time using a lightsaber. Kylo is very skilled and knows exactly what he's doing, while Rey is driven by adrenaline and survival. You need a teacher! 
I could show you the ways of the force. Number four, Max Rokotansky versus Furiosa. Mad Max Fury Road. As seen by several entries on this list, male versus female fights in movies are often used as a device to build sexual tension. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with that, but it has become quite a bit cliche. This one is a straight up brawl. Even though the upper hand changes a few times during the fight, the two claw at and tackle each other throughout. No one can say that the filmmakers tried to sexualize this scene. The fight is brutal without being gratuitous, and entertaining while still being very realistic. Neither of them use any kind of crazy martial arts or parkour to overcome the other. They are just fighting for their lives with whatever they've got. Oh, look at them. So shiny, so chrome. Number three, Mallory Kane versus Paul. Haywire. The anticipation at the beginning of this scene has you on edge of your seat before the fight even starts. Those few moments just before they enter the hotel room are like thunderous silence. What makes this fight so great is that it's somehow brutal and simultaneously understated. There is no need for witty dialogue, sexual overtones, or even accompanying music to enhance this scene. The fight just says it all completely on its own. And while the violence is intense, it manages to remain super realistic. Yeah, they are throwing each other around and destroying the room, but there's no gratuitous blood or gore being used as a crutch. It's two people going at it with everything they have. Mallory, you're in way over your head. I think this through. You've been out of control since you've arrived. Number two, Douglas Quaid versus Laurie. Total Recall. This one is really interesting. Laurie, go! Get out! Douglas doesn't even know at first that it's Laurie he's fighting. Big twist reveal. When he realizes who she is, naturally, he wants to end the fight and work things out using their words. Of course, Doug doesn't want to fist fight his wife. But wait, boom, double twist, she's not actually his wife. Talk. I'm not your wife. The hell you're not. I swear to God, I never saw you before six weeks ago. Her marriage is just a memory implant. You think I'm stupid? Ah. She's an agent sent to monitor his behavior after having his brain wiped and memory replaced. Oh, we do love a good expositional scene masked under an action sequence. It always makes things more interesting. There's no in you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Matt Murdock vs. Electra Nachios Daredevil Who among us wasn't left in awe by the epic battle of- Okay, we can't even get through that. Just kidding. <laughs> Number 1. John Smith vs. Jane Smith Mr. and Mrs. Smith Okay, we had our fun. Now for our real number 1 pick. We went with nothing short of the ultimate husband and wife death match, minus the death. All of the elements we've been talking about in the other scenes on this list are turned up to 11 in this one. They have witty, flirty banter throughout. You still alive, baby? Uh, uh... They burn through numerous unconventional weapons. Parts of it are sexual without going over the top. Things get pretty brutal without over relying on gratuity and the upper hand changes multiple times. Can't do it. Don't! Come on! The whole thing is downright explosive. Literally. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.